Welcome to Daily Series. Brought to you by Healthy RN Ways, a channel that helps and guide people on the daily aspect of life. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. How sleep problems affect thinking and memory and our daily function. Consistently sleeping well plays a big role in keeping day to day thinking sharp, as well as protecting the brain against memory problems down the line, like Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia. Research shows there are a lot of important processes that happen during each of the different stages of sleep that protect brain health. If you want to preserve and protect your memory, sleep on it, the inextricable link between sleep, thinking, and memory. Our sleep is part of our fundamental biology. It is ingrained in the chemistry of how every cell is organized, including the processes that regulate how we manage and express emotions, how we respond to the world, and how we learn. Anyone who has attempted to stay up all night knows that thinking tends to be fuzzier the following day. But thanks to more and more clinical research in this area, the reasons why performance suffers are becoming clearer. Deep sleep is when critical parts of the memory storage process happen. And important brain waste removal processes also happen during sleep that help clear out toxic brain byproducts that naturally accumulate throughout the day as a result of normal activity and functioning. When sleep doesn't happen or not enough of it happens all of these processes can be interrupted, and thinking and memory can suffer as a result. The process happens during wakefulness and during sleep. Sleep has long been recognized as being critical for memory consolidation. You're likely familiar with the part of learning that happens while you're awake, such as when you read an article like this one or you engage in a conversation with a friend. But whether or not you can recall those thoughts and conversations later depends on other processes that happen during sleep. Encoding you're exposed to new information and it gets encoded in the brain during waking hours, leaving a memory trace. At this point, new memories are highly vulnerable to being forgotten. Consolidation new information is sorted, categorized, and stored in different brain areas for later retrieval during the stages of deep sleep. This is when new memories get integrated into already existent knowledge networks in the brain, so you can recall them later. Retrieval The task of recall, or remembering, reaches into the brain's storehouses to access relevant information, now filed away as memories. While encoding and retrieval occur during waking hours, consolidation requires the kind of high-quality sleep that takes the 7 to 9 hours and includes several cycles of all the different stages of sleep, including light sleep, deep slow wave sleep, and rapid eye movement, or REM, sleep. We believe each sleep stage has a distinct role in consolidating information. All stages of sleep play a role in helping memories stick. What we know about the memory consolidation that happens during sleep is that it's complicated and several different regions of the brain are working on different tasks. Patterns of electrical activity are changing as brain cell connections are established, changed, and remodeled, each stage of sleep likely plays a role in making memories stick. Slow wave sleep is the period of deep sleep when the brain begins to sort through, recognize, and consolidate declarative or factual information acquired during the day. REM sleep is critical to procedural learning. The step-by-step -step integration of facts into a larger process and motor skills, such as remembering how to perform a specific technique, like swinging a golf club. Slow wave sleep sets the stage, while REM programs the connections and grows the brain. Why, sleeping on it, after working to learn some motor skills, like playing piano, seems to strengthen the training process. The brain looks for common patterns in new information, determines a set of rules to categorize the information it has, and integrates the new information into the brain's vast and constantly evolving store of knowledge. Before information is filed, it is evaluated for its relevance and relationships to what else you know. Our brains is like clean house as we sleep. Sleep not only helps capture and store new information, a janitorial process that happens in the brain during sleep. While you're cycling through sleep, the brain removes the daytime buildup of toxic proteins, which allow to accumulate in the brain can clog and kill healthy neurons, as well as the memories they store. During quality sleep, 
we've learned that there is an opening up of certain barriers between the brain and the rest of the circulation that might allow amyloid protein to be properly cleared. Amyloid has been found in the plaques and tangles of the brains belonging to people with Alzheimer's disease, and are implicated, along with tau protein, in many forms of dementia. Amyloid refers to proteins that fold in mutated and potentially damaging ways. There were quantifiable increases in the amount of harmful amyloid protein in the brains of healthy individuals after just a single night of not sleeping. There is still a lot to understand about how amyloid builds up, but the data suggests sleep deprivation may have a very negative effect when it comes to the buildup of harmful amyloid proteins. Filtering and cleaning out process that happens during sleep could help prevent the damage that can lead to the memory loss associated with Alzheimer's disease. There are a lot of processes that happen during sleep that protect thinking and memory the vital role sleep plays when it comes to thinking and memory. The more that is understood about how these harmful proteins accumulate and lead to memory problems, the more can be learned about how to stop that process from happening or reverse it. As we're learning more about the clearance process, it seems possible that we may be able to develop strategies to open the brain barriers, using drugs or technologies like ultrasound to help filter out amyloid. Until miracle cures arrive, our best bet in terms of protecting brain health and lowering our risk of sleep-related memory issues is getting adequate shut eye. We can't yet prevent dementia or solve the problem the problem of cognitive impairment, but we can find ways to optimize sleep. Please like share and subscribe to my video. Thanks for watching, see you on my next video, Marsalam.